25 minutes after 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Tuesday morning. There is a talent show going on, and this is not only a way to showcase some really talented people right here in our own community, but also to raise some money for a really great organization. You've probably heard us talking about it before. We've been doing our best to promote the event. It is the third annual um, Ocala's Got Talent talent show. Joe Martone is the MC of the event, and he's in the studio right now, and he's, he did a wonderful video video that he uh, has 2,700 views or something like that. And oh, I maybe by now 99 or 100 shares. People are really buzzing about this. And let's hope it's doing what we wanted it to do, which was to get calls for people wanting to audition because it's the audition that will raise money for this great organization called the Heart of Florida Youth Ranch. Stormy Helton is on the phone. She's the executive assistant of the Heart of Florida Youth Ranch and a spokesperson for Ocala's Got Talent. And Dr. John Sweet is the executive director of the Heart of Florida Youth Ranch. They are not in the studio, which is a little disappointing. I wanted to get to meet them, but they're on the phone. Good morning, Stormy and Dr. Sweet. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are Very you? well. What did you forget? You forgot to come in? <laughs> I, I had it on my calendar for 11.30 somehow. I got it. Oh, up. okay. Well, it'll be 11.30 eventually. Uh, <laughs> so how is it going? We, we, we are really curious to find out how, the, uh, how it's going. Do you have a lot of people uh, signed up for the auditions yet? We do. We have about 20 slots full. Um, already signed up and paid and we have quite a few spots still available um, our first audition is actually this Saturday um, April 2nd so we have a couple of spots left to fill on on that audition oh good and, wh- and what kind of talent is, uh, is is wanting to audition is it singers dancers what do you got um, we have 90% singers and the rest is bands. Oh, really? Okay. So there's still room. And would you accept somebody who has a dog jumping through a hoop, that kind of an act? We would ex- we would accept any talent. Any talent at all? Okay. As long as it's clean. Yeah, as long as, <laughs> <laughs> as, long as it's clean, Joe says. Um, so is, is this the first time you guys have done the, the Ocala's Got Talent show? It is. Yes. It's, it's our first year of being involved with it. And my notes say it's going to be held at the Bowen Auditorium right there at the Youth Ranch. Absolutely, yes. So t- so tell me about the Youth Ranch, because I, I've been, uh, I mean, I'm excited about the, the talent show. Robin and I are going to try to uh, videotape it when we come out there. Um, and Joe will be, you You got the best MC in town right now, by He's the way, awesome. with, with Joe. He's awesome. Okay. Um, so uh, I want to know... Um, for the listener's sake, how, what, what do you do at the youth ranch? I want to hear about what you do. Joe describes that as an orphanage. Well, ba- basically, uh, you know, the United Nations defines an orphanage as any child who has. Yeah. Our kids have come to us become, because of some kind of need in their life or a, a place to be. And, uh, uh, we work with them from from that standpoint forward, trying to uh, be that gap between them and a permanent home. How many how many children are there right now? We have uh, thirty five children on the campus right now. So that I mean, obviously, you need money. And where does the money normally come from? From fundraisers? About two thirds of our money comes from per diems that we receive from agencies from the state. But uh, ev- everybody knows that. Uh, with the horrendous need and the expenses involved, that right. the, you know the per diems are are not going to be enough. So the rest of it is uh, churches, uh, individuals, uh, businesses uh, that contribute and, and help, and in, in various groups that come in and help in different ways. Well, that's outstanding. How, how long have you been doing it, Doctor? How long have you worked with the Youth I, Ranch? I, I have been at the Youth Ranch a couple of years uh, at, at this point, uh, almost two years. Uh, in June, it'll be uh, two, and and I have been doing this kind of work for about twenty years. Wow. I'm a local church pastor, and uh, developed a foster care program in my church, and that led me to uh, another agency, and uh, and and basically got involved with different orphanages as a consultant in uh, about 134 orphanages around the world. Wow! Just, and so I. I I came by that. There was a request to come to Florida a couple of years ago and look it over, and I did, and 
and a search for helping them find somebody. It was something my wife and I felt like we'd just really like to do ourselves and uh, do hands-on. Okay, and and Stormy, what is the biggest challenge at the Heart of Florida Youth Ranch? And, and maybe make it something that we can help you with. I'm, I'm guessing money has to be a huge challenge. So what, what, is, what would you say is the biggest challenge? Well, the, the challenge, it, you know, is constantly uh, upgrading the facilities, keeping, you know, you're dealing with uh, several buildings, buildings age, the wear and tear on the buildings, furniture, uh, all of those kind of things, just keeping things, the maintenance is amazing on a ranch with, uh, uh, you know, trying to keep that uh, flow of the kids working with the horses, but that carries a lot, on a lot of uh, extra expenses as well. So it's just constantly maintenance and uh, keeping the buildings uh, where you want them to be in tip-top shape. Okay, so the so the children don't they don't just live there and wait for somebody to come rescue them. They, I mean, you you have them with doing tasks. Right, the kids are involved in local schools, local sports. Uh, they are involved in local uh, community and church activities. Uh, they can get jobs uh, and function as much as as closely as possible to a normal household setting as, as we can make it. And they do, uh, several of them participate in taking care of the horses and different uh, projects on the ranch. Wow. Do you know, uh, I'm guessing that a lot of people who respond to the audition open call are, are wanting simply to be recognized for their talents. And there's probably some people who say, you know, I, I'll, I'll give this a shot. I probably will never win, but $25 is going to a good cause, so I'm going to have fun with this. So hopefully you're having both of those uh, groups coming by, right? You don't want to – because everybody won't be at the, the – the, you have two performances, right, mm -hmm. in May? But yeah. 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 May 7th and May 21st. Okay. And, and you uh, is your cap 50? Is, is that the most you want to have is 50 contestants? Well, basically, we're going to take the 50, and then by the time we get to the uh, the semifinals, uh, we'll have that down to 10. And so we'll have 10 contestants that will uh, uh, show their talents on May the 7th. And uh, then from that, they'll be carrying five forward into the May 21st event. And then halfway through the May 21st event, we're going to pair that down to the final three, have them perform one more time, and then uh, make the final uh, calls. Mm -hmm. Stormy, how long have you been with the Heart of Florida Youth Ranch? Um, I've only been here a few months. I started um, at the beginning of October of um, 2015. Did the experience that you're experiencing uh, proved to be something different than what you imagined it to be. Most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Well, tell, tell me, what is it like to work there? What is it like to work with the... the they're not all children, right? There, there are some actual who are, are adults by now, right? Um, all of the children are 18 or, or under. Oh, okay, um, 18 or under. It's, it's truly a blessing um, to work with these kids. They're all... Um, they all have different personalities, um, they're all unique in their own ways. Um, you get to see them, you know, grow. You get to see them, you know, work towards their goals. Um, it's a great group of people to work with. Um, a I'm great environment. I'm guessing among the children you have there, there are probably some singers. Have any of them auditioned, or do they want to? We haven't, had we haven't heard of, from any. Um, to sign up to audition they've been i mean they know about it but well maybe they need help actually, um, maybe they need help with the 25 dollars. you get sponsors for them well, yeah had, uh, we've had uh, several sure. uh, of the kids in the past that have done interpretive dance and uh you know readings and different things like that that have been involved in it and a couple that have sung over the years right at this point in time right now i, I don't know of any that uh are, are doing those types of right, things. Right, right, right. They're several very good athletes, but that's a different talent. They can throw a football up on that stage. Right? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I'm going to be there. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. You guys have the – I'm not just saying it because, you know, Joe is my boss. But if he wasn't a good MC, I wouldn't say he was. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That's absolutely true. I mean, we, we watched Joe MC at the first Ocala's Got Talent. Wasn't that the first second one? one. Oh, second yeah, that was the second two. one? 
Who did the first? Who emceed the first I one? I don't know. That guy must have just flunked out. <laughs> don't say That's that. That's how come they made you the MC don't for this. But, but anyway, I, I mean, really, are very good. Okay, He's so making me step up to the plate. That's going to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> it won't hurt at all. Mm. All right, so let me let me. We have to take a little break, and when we come back, we'll learn more. I want to. Um, I, I wanted the audience to know what you did, what your mission was, and I and I hope we accomplished that somewhat. Um, and when we come back, maybe we can get a website uh, that not only will teach us about the Florida, the heart of Florida Youth Ranch, but also about the Ocala's Got Talent show. And we're so disappointed you're not in the studio, but that's okay. Stormy, Helton, Dr. John Sweet, just hang in there. We'll be right back after this break. You're listening to The Source, WOCA. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of The Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA The Source every night from 2 to 6 a.m. and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara. And me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment. Right here on WOCA The Source. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that, I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new yep, truck. Yep, we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too. Well, as a matter of fact, join me, Matt Gibbs, from Sunrise Automotive every Tuesday at 10 for auto repair with personal care right here on The Source. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Gene and Debbie would like to thank you for another successful year of business. We also want to wish everybody a safe, healthy, and prosperous 2016. We are ready to be of service with our pasture mowing. 352-629-2440. Locally owned and operated, experienced and reliable, commercial and residential, licensed and insured. Powell Gene, G-E-N-E at yahoo.com. 352-629-2440. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. 352-629-2440. Want to learn more about your furnace or air conditioner? Tune in this Saturday for free tips and expert advice on how to get the most out of your heating and air conditioning system. Or get a free AC rejuvenation by being the first person to go to cleanmyac.com. That's cleanmyac.com. Saturday, free tips and expert advice on how to get the most out of your heating and air conditioning system. Or get a free AC rejuvenation by being the first person to go to cleanmyac.com. That's cleanmyac.com. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. All right, 19 minutes after 11 o'clock. Uh, the first place winner at the Ocala Scott Talent, uh, Talent Show is a $1,000 prize and a trophy, right? Correct. Trophy. Uh, the second prize is a $500 prize and, and a medal, you said, right? Correct. And third place is a $250 prize and a medal. And and just the fun of being part of this. I, I don't know how many of the, the young people who... Um, actually performed at the one that you emceed the last time, Joe. Mm -hmm. How many had maybe got a gig or two out of this? If nothing else, I'm sure people watched the video and said, hey, I, I saw you on the video. Oh, yeah. Families and friends come by and yeah. and watch it and what have you. Yeah, sure. So if you want to audition, let's see. Um, Stormy or, or Doctor, can you give us a phone number? Yes. The yeah, phone good. number to call cool. to audition would be area code 352-595- Seven one zero zero, and that's your number, right, Stormy? We we ask for you. Yes. Okay. And uh, w what about if we just wanted to help? You, I, I see here you have some sponsorship levels: uh, two hundred fifty dollars, five hundred dollars, up up to five thousand dollars. And how do we do that? Do we call that same number? 
yes, they can call the save number um, and we can direct them um, in the right way and help them with that. Uh, Heart of Florida no. Youth Ranch is in Citra, right? Citra, uh, 301 on the right-hand side, Highway 301, just before Citra on the right. Uh, Stormy, what is your the website? So we you can sign up right on the website, correct? Yes, you can pay. Um, you can pay on the website, um, and the website is www.hofyr.org backslash ocalas dash dot dash talent. Okay, the the, uh, the the brochure that I was given shows it looks it looks like there's going to be food. If you're sponsoring, you're going to have a table, you're going to have food. So who's so this is a big event. It's it's not just a talent show, but you've got somebody making food. It looks like right. Do you have it catered? Um, we are working on that. Um, Chick Fil A has actually offered um, to do some catering, um, and we're working with them. Okay, okay. And and part of it also, it looks like there's an advertising package as well. Is that something we're doing, Joe? Yes. Yeah, yeah. okay, we'll good. Be, we have a table there. We'll be, uh, if if you, I guess it's a $1,000 up, you get, a, get to put a banner on the wall. So if you have a small advertising banner uh, at the sponsorship of $1,000 up, you get to put a banner on the wall. And the auditorium is, is very nice, very well done. Uh, the stage is, is those who have watched Hee Haw on TV years ago. Uh, the stage reminds you of Hee Haw. Oh, really? It's very, very well. Are you going to wear a straw hat when you do it? I have one. I you can wear one, one yeah, if I need yeah. to, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fit in or I won't fit in. It overalls? depends what I feel. O- overalls? Most of me will be covered, yes. You're going to have those girls <laughs> those girls with the short shorts pop up out of the hay? And about it. Now, there's an idea. I oh, to, wait a minute. I'll, I'll have to run it by the executive <laughs> committee over there, and they'll say yes or no. Yeah. Uh, you want to get me in hot water quick. <laughs> and have you decided on the uh, uh, judges yet for the uh, – uh, finals? We're having a meeting tomorrow. Is that right, Doctor? Yes, that's right. We're having a meeting tomorrow. Should be finalizing some of those things tomorrow. All right. So we want to get some. I guess the main mission today is to get people to audition, and and as we get closer to the event, then we can really start stressing people just showing up to to just have a fun time and watch, like like you would be at a at a, okay at an America's Got Talent show, right? right. Just have all those people. Somebody's going to blow you away with some great talent, make you cry, make I, you laugh. I, lo- I right? love when that happens because yeah. you see this little petite little thing come out there, and all of a sudden they'll start singing. And oh, and you're not talking about me, right? You're not petite <laughs> by no means. If you ever when you, when you meet Larry, you'll know what I mean, Doctor Stormy. He, he's definitely uh, not petite. Do people have to sign up in advance to audition, or can they show up this Saturday without signing up prior? Mm. Um, we, we, we really need for them to, them to, to sign up prior, Doctor. What do you say? Yeah, I, I would think you know, it'll give us at least some notice that they're coming. Obviously, mm-hmm. if we have a way of a, a slot to fit them in, we'd certainly try to accommodate anyone. But it would be much more helpful if they could give us some notice that they were coming. On the on the website that you gave us, is there information on there so we can learn more about the Youth Ranch itself? Yes, if you just go to www.hofyr.org, uh, you'll see the Ocala's Got Talent logo there. You can click on it. It'll take you straight through to all the information you'll need. Okay, now the video that we made with Joe has had so far, I'm looking at it right now, 2.6 thousand views, 99 shares. And and here's the fun thing. When you look at the shares, people are saying... Um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Jimmy, you got to try this one. Justin, uh, this is f- for you. Um, let's see another one. Um, Cheryl, I uh, hope you sign up for this. Uh, win one for me, Shane. They're, they're, they're encouraging each other to sign up and, and join these talent shows. They want to see their friends win. And, and I think that's the cool part of this. It's the, I don't see anybody saying, you know what, I'm going to win. I see other people rooting on their friends and other people they know. What do we have? I'm sure that's correct. Yeah, uh, and so and you are a doctor as, as well as a, you're a pastor, right? Right, I'm a minister. Yes, you're. I'm sorry, a minister. Okay, okay. And he can tell stories. He told one at one of our meetings, and uh, I don't think there was a dry eye. He made my eyes leak a little bit, and I'm a big guy, and I'm not supposed to have my eyes leak. But <laughs> no. It was a, a very, very moving story, and it, it it had a twist, and I won't ruin it because he might say it again some, at tell some it again. time. Yeah. Tell it, and it, uh, it's it's very well, very well put together, very well done, and you can tell it's from the heart. You can tell this this man, uh, Doctor Sweet, is is not a uh, sweet, he's a he's phony. Sweet. He's he's, sweet. he's a real thing. He's a real deal. Joe told me you're really tall too. 
I'm sorry. Joe said that you're very tall. Well, I, 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 am, I have a little height, don't I? <laughs> have, a, have a little height on you. I like the way you say that. <laughs> Are the uh, auditions going to be at the Heart of Florida Youth Ranch? Is that the uh, venue of choice? Yes. 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 For the Everything's going to occur here. Okay. And what time are they going to be starting? Can it, will, will you have uh, spectators allowed to be there on site this Saturday? Yes. Uh, um, spectators know, can come and pay at the door. It's $5 uh, at the door, and they can come watch the audition. Um, the audition on April 2nd, which is this Saturday, is from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will also be food and drinks available for purchase. Aha! Uh-huh. Oh wow! Now the other audition coming up—it's—it's—it's it's, it's made for if someone has to work on that Saturday. Day, the next one is at night, correct? Correct. So on the April 9th, it'll be five to eight p.m. So if you happen to be working somewhere and you can't make it in the daytime, then you get to five to eight. They're co- they're trying to accommodate everybody. Sure, the best they sure, can. It makes sense. Yeah. So. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a fun event, and for anybody in, in Ocala who knows somebody who has talent, and that means they can sing, they can play an instrument, um, anything really, they can juggle. I, I'd like to see, it would be, it'd be cool to hear about, uh, you know, somebody juggling or... No, no fire breathers. A no, magician. No, no. A magician. <laughs> magician, I would love Wait to Wait a see. minute, there's a really cute fire eater in town. I know, but yeah. no, no. Yeah, why not? You just come into stilts and walk around. <laughs> yeah, no, we, won't, we won't go with that, but yeah, but Twiliquist... That would be fantastic to see one of those. I can do really good ventriloquism. Yeah, we watch can this. see your mouth move. No, watch yeah. this. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah, I'm look. here, and you can't see me. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll put the, the, the uh, camera right up. <laughs> and, if, and, and, and if there's a uh, person out there who feels they are in a really bad situation, a uh, child up to the age of 18, are they able to call you, or should they go to their guidance counselor at school and have the guidance counselor contact you for the, for you to help them? We, we received referrals from a number of uh, sources from, uh, you know, state agencies primarily, but we also get referrals from the court, uh, pastors, uh, grandparents, fathers and mothers, you know, and, and we do what we can to assist in, in every situation. Uh, before we run out of time, we've got two minutes left. What's on your wish list? What, what can we do for you? Well, the, the biggest thing, obviously, that, that we need is uh, community support and, and partnership. And we just want people to feel like that there's a, you know, one, I think it's, uh, the ranch is one of the Ocala's best secrets. Uh, uh, a lot of people don't know about it. And one of the, the great challenges that I face as an executive director is just getting the word out, making people aware, because I really believe if people know the story uh, of what these kids have gone through and what they need, that people are going to want to be involved and want to support us. And well, so yeah. that's the biggest challenge we have is just making people aware of what's going well, on. Well, let me tell you, you did a smart thing by hooking up with Joe with WOCA because that's our job. That's our that's what we're in the business to do is to spread the word on on great things like what you're doing. So um, I think it'll work out for you. It's, it's, it's not always quick, but I think it's moving pretty quick. I mean, if you've got 26, you, you're going to get more. And, and maybe the listeners, that you, maybe you can share this video on, um, on YouTube, on Facebook. Uh, you can share the other video that Joe, Joe made. If you go to the WOCA Facebook page, I, I tagged it to the top so it's easy to find. Um, and, uh, and anything you could do to help spread the word. It's, it's a great cause, and it sounds like a really fun event. I, I know it is because I went to the other one that Joe did. Well, we're looking forward to it and very excited about it, to, not only for the talent that we build, well, will be displayed and the, the excitement of that, but as well of inviting people and welcoming, welcoming people to the ranch. Yeah. Uh, because I think people come on our property, they see what we're doing, they're going to want to be a partner with us. I think so. Stormy, and, uh, Stormy Helton and Dr. John Sweet, thank you both so much for what you're doing. First of all, you're making the world a much better place. The Youth Ranch sounds awesome. And thank you for being on the air with us today. And definitely come back. We've got a lot of time. We can, you can come back in any time. All right. Thank we'll you. look forward to that. All right. And, uh, and we'll see you next time in the studio. We'll, we'll take a little break. We'll be right back. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. In the fight for the White House, Ted Cruz picks up another endorsement. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker.